Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad. Predicting the Arsenal's next five games with Lee Judges, Tom Canton, Dan Potts and Super Kevin Campbell. Hi, Lee Judges here and these are my predictions for the next five Premier League games and they're going to be, well, very, very tough games. Starting with Brentford away, but I think that uh, we bounce back after that Man United game and we'll uh, win this game, so I'm going to go for a Brentford nil, Arsenal 2. Then we have the North London Derby Spurs at home. I think massive advantage when you're at home in these games there. So I'm going to go Arsenal 2, them down the road. 1. Then we have Liverpool at home. Tough, tough game. But I don't think Liverpool are at their best at the moment and are struggling. Even after the international break, I still think that they'll be struggling with midfield areas and things like that. So I'm going to go Arsenal 2, Liverpool 1. We then go to Leeds away. Tough, tough game there. I think that Leeds are not in bad form at this moment in time. So I'm going to go Leeds 1, Arsenal 1. And then we play Manchester City at home in the midweek, I believe. Uh, and unfortunately, I think they're going to be a little bit too good for us, uh, particularly up front with you-know-who. So I'm going to go Arsenal 1, Manchester City 2. Hopefully... I'm wrong on a couple of them, and we get five wins out of five. We'll have to wait and see. But um, if we can take nine, ten points from those five games, I don't think it's a bad thing. Hey, squaddies. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so for inviting me to throw my prediction into your show. Hope it's going well. Brentford, finally, I think. Are we sure? Is it definitely Brentford? I'm sure that it is Brentford at this stage. Could be anything. Who knows what's happening these days. Tough one. Uh, shouldn't be underestimated. We, of course, went there last season and lost. Uh, I am going to go for a 2-0 Arsenal win. I think it'll be a reverse scoreline than what it was last time out. I just think that we're just a very, very different side. We've got a very different team playing this game. And despite Brentford having a very good record of scoring, especially at home, our defence has been very good this season. The only goals that we've conceded are because of individual errors rather than the quality of the opposition. Although Man United's clinical finishing definitely hurt us. I still think that those individual areas, if we can cut them out, can see us really dominate teams. And, and that, I think, is about suffocating the opposition. So if Arsenal dominate this game against Brentford and are more savvier than potentially they were against Man United, I think we should come out hopefully unscathed. So yes, 2-0. In regards to Spurs, really difficult one to call. However, Arsenal's record at home against Spurs has been pretty good. And I think this will continue just watch them humiliate themselves in Lisbon uh, rather enjoyably. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Arsenal win in the North London derby. That might seem overconfident, and it probably is, but who cares? It's the North London derby, and we can't really go for anything other than a big win in that game. Next, Liverpool. Obviously sandwiched between some Europa League fixtures, but Liverpool's interesting. I'm watching them at the moment against Ajax. I won't spoil the scoreline because it will be different by the time that you listen to this, but... There are gaps still, even though players are coming back from injury and their team looks a little bit more like the Liverpool of old, with Diogo Jota in particular returning, who has been a bit of a thorn in Arsenal's side, as we know. Um, I still fancy us to do something, finally, against Liverpool. We haven't beaten Liverpool in a very, very long time. And in fairness, I say a very, very long time. We weirdly beat them, I think, in the season that they actually had already run, won the league, Nelson and Lacazette with goals. In a 2-1 win, potentially? Or was it 2-0? Who cares? Um, I think maybe we end up doing something similar. So I'll go for an Arsenal 2-1 win in this game. Leeds. Leeds. Leeds is a weird one, again. There's lots of weird ones going on with these games. But Leeds are a team that scored plenty of goals. They've beaten Chelsea already at their ground. We have had joy there. And yes, they did have a very weak team, considering I think COVID affected them quite heavily. But I'm going to go with... I'm tempted to say, you know, a draw because I've just predicted wins all the way through. But who cares? We're going to win 3-1. And it's going to come out with a really strong victory and, and maintain our top spot. That might come to an end when we play City. Forever how good I think we are. Forever how good I think that we've been at the start of this season. City, for me, still are on another level. And Erling Haaland will be, obviously, the biggest factor alongside the usual suspects for them. I still think we'll give them a good game. 
It might be a high scoring game. So I'm going to go for a 3-2 City win in that one. But who knows? There really could be a chance that we get something big from that game. But I've got to be a little bit sensible. So 3-2 to Manchester City. But still, four wins from five when you consider this is going to be a very tricky month for Arsenal. I'm not complaining all that much. I think that would be a great return from 15 potential points of getting 12 would be amazing. So, yeah. Have a fantastic evening. Thank you again, Sophie and Kev, for inviting me on. And, uh, yeah, I hope I've been optimistic. I look forward to seeing what the other guys have said. Big up, squaddies. Evening to you all. It's Dan Potts here. Big up, Sophie. Big up, Kev. Hope you're all well. Listen, next five games are key, aren't they? Massive, massive October for Arsenal Football Club. Nine games in October. Um, two of those being the home and away leg in the Europa League to Bodo and Glimt. And I think that both of those games will be fine. I think our squad is just about um, good enough to get us through this Europa League group stages. Against that opposition, I expect to get wins in the league. It could be a different story because our squad is still very, very thin. Looking towards the Brentford game, which we're all, of course, massively, massively proud that this will be back on because we need it to be. Um, we're all happy that football is back. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Arsenal victory at Brentford. We're all Arsenal fans across the whole world are going to have PTSD with this fixture. And of course, it's a potential banana skin. But for me, although they try and bully us and Ivan Tony will, of course, be a problem. I do fancy Arsenal to nick this 2-1. I really do. I think that we're going to have goals in this side. Brentford haven't got the best defence. They do leak some goals. So I fancy Arsenal to nick this one 2-1. And then, of course, we head towards the North London derby. Um, we always do well at the Emirates against the Spuds, right? We always do, yeah? And Arsenal actually don't do too bad against Antonio Conte's sides if you look back in history and the stats. So everything would probably suggests that if it's going to go wrong, it will be this season. However, I'm going to be positive. I'm going to go for a 3-2 thriller at the Emirates. 3-2 to Arsenal. I've got faith. I'm optimistic that we'll score goals. I think the players will want it. I think the manager will get us up for it. And I think the fans will be the key player in this. And Arsenal's 12th man will take the victory in the North London derby. Then we've got Liverpool. The way they're playing, everybody will think this is an easy result. Trust me, it's never easy playing them. <laughs> I think we will struggle against this fixture because I think they'll be up for it and I think it'll be a tough game. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I don't think we're going to take three points because I think by then they'll have some players back and I think they'll cause us all sorts of issues. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw because it's at home and because they ain't playing at their best. But I do think this will be a tough one. Leeds away. Let's be honest, Leeds away has normally been quite a nice place for Arsenal to, to go to. Over the years, the invincible years, I remember putting three or four past them comfortably. Last season, we put four or five goals past Leeds, home and away, quite comfortably. So I think for me, now, I'm going to stick being, being positive and say that we're playing well enough, albeit a Jesse Marsh side who, let's be honest, looked quite good this season. I think we're going to have enough and I'm going to go for Arsenal three. Leeds won. Then, if it stays as the fixtures planned, we have Man City at home in the midweek game. And this one's the one where I think we could be in trouble. Um, Haaland is going to be too much for us, in my opinion. I think this guy is ridiculous. And I think now that Kevin De Bruyne has found his assist boots yet again with another centre-forward in Haaland, this one's going to be really tricky. I think it will be a, a, a game that we have quite tight fortly with them but I do think the scoreline will flatter them I'm going to go for Man City 3 Arsenal 1 of course I hope we win all of them Gunas I hope we really do but um, that's my predictions for the next five fixtures a lot can change in that time Thomas Party coming back is massive for us I don't think he'll be risked on Sunday but I think he'll be ready for that North London derby and that's the way that I see it going if we don't get any injuries from now we'll be fine if we do we could be in a bit of trouble. So it's all a little bit of luck that's needed as well. Take care, squaddies. Sof, Kev, big up yourself. Dan Potts, over and out, people. Sophie, squaddies, at ease. I hope you're well. Right. My predictions for the next five games, I'm not including the European games. These are just going to be league games. Okay. So... 
Brentford away, I've gone for three points. Then, obviously, the Spurs game at the Emirates, I've gone for three points. Then there's, I think, Liverpool at home, I've gone for a draw in that one. Then there's Leeds away, three points, we take three points against Leeds away. And the big game, City at home, I've gone for a point. So that's 11 points out of 15. Hoping we can get wins where we get draws. I'd love five wins, but I think we'll get 11 out of 15. All right. Anyway, Sophie, squaddies, that's what I think. What do you think, squaddies? Addies. Addies.